Hello and welcome to Fast Tutorial, the show that teaches you how to quickly and painlessly mod your game. My name is A.I. Elias, I've been modding Skyrim since 2013, and today we're going to be optimizing our Skyrim any settings using a tool called Bethany. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you find this content useful. Throw any questions you have in the comments, and check out the description for timestamps so you can skip around the video. Ready? Let's begin. Frequently Asked Questions What are any files? Any files are configuration text sets used by the game to record and store various in-game settings. What do any settings change? Many things, from shadows and other graphical settings to NPCs using ammunition and toggling the main menu logo. Where are my any files found? Typically, Skyrim.ini and Skyrimprefs.ini can be found in Documents, My Games, Skyrim, or Skyrim Special Edition, and can be directly edited from there with Notepad. However, if you use Mod Organizer 2, which I recommend, each profile will have its own configuration files located in your Mod Organizer 2 folder under Profiles. Why do I need to optimize my any settings? While the default any settings set by Bethesda will run your game just fine, there are performance and graphical improvements to be had by optimizing these files. Put simply, you're missing out on free frame rate and graphics if you don't. Important note, certain mods like ENB presets and grass overhauls require certain ENB settings to be set to their own specified values. Be sure to manually locate and check the values of any such settings after this tutorial. Installation. Go to the Bethany page on the Skyrim or Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. Both are the same file, so it doesn't matter which you download from. Links to both are down below. Read the description and go to the Files tab. Then, manually download the standalone version. Once the download is finished, open up the archive with the software of your choosing. I am using 7-Zip. Because this is a tool, rather than a mod, we will install it to our Modding Tools folder. I have mine located on a separate drive with my modded games. Create a new folder and name it Bethany. Then move the contents of the Bethany Any Standalone folder in the archive to the new folder you've just created. Bethany is now installed. Any file optimization. Let's go ahead and run Bethany by launching bethany.exe. Mod Organizer 2 users, because Bethany does not modify anything in the Skyrim data folder, it should not be run from Mod Organizer 2. Once the application opens up, go ahead and go to the Setup tab. Here, we can configure the basic directories Bethany needs to know about. Firstly, select the game you want Bethany to configure, then its location. If you're on Mod Organizer 2, be sure to set its directory as well, then set the profile you want to configure in the Any Path dropdown. Now, we can go back to the Basic tab. I will now quickly go over some settings in Bethany and what they do. Note too, if you don't know what any setting does, you can hover over it for a little description. You will also be notified of any settings changed in the bottom left corner of the app. First off, let's go to presets. 99% of you will want to select Ultra. Modern hardware is more than capable of handling it these days. Also make sure Bethany presets are selected and recommended tweaks are checked. These will automatically set the settings to be as optimized as possible. From here, we can make manual tweaks based on our personal preferences. In display, set the resolution of your monitor and any other settings you prefer. I recommend enabling anti-aliasing, V-Sync, and locked frame rate. Set the FPS to 60 because Skyrim can't be played over 60 frames per second normally anyway. In the General tab, I recommend unchecking the intro logos for faster boot times and setting your preferred number of autosaves. Everything else, I recommend keeping at default. Gameplay is mostly good by default. Always run by default is what most people are used to, and if you want NPCs to use ammo, you can do that here. In vanilla, this setting is off by default. Keep the arrow angles where Bethany recommends. In the Interface tab, everything is fine by default. In the Details tab, set your preferred field of view. I also recommend dropping your shadow resolution to 2048 if it isn't already. It will really help your frame rate. Lastly, the default settings in view distance and visuals are mostly fine just the way they are. What I wouldn't recommend touching in any circumstances is U-Grids to load value. This can break quests and destabilize your game, so unless you're going to be just taking screenshots, leave it at 5. Other than that, feel free to play around with any other settings you see. If you ever want to go back to the defaults, just go back to the Basics tab and reset the presets. Once you're done, you can refresh the second panel and it will show you any changes made in the any file. At this point, we can close out of the application and Bethany will prompt us to save our changes. Select yes, and we're good. Our any settings are now optimized and reordered. If you head in-game, you might even see a graphical improvement. 
Don't forget too, to go back and adjust any settings manually needed for other mods, be that with Notepad or Mod Organizer. Was this video helpful? Good. Show your support by liking and subscribing. Check out my other modding guides in the description, and take any questions you have to my Discord channel. The video to the left is my Dawnguard cleaning guide, and to the right, my ENB guide. I will catch you in the next video.